In this video, we are having a look at text wrapping within Word. Now, text wrapping doesn't just apply to Word documents. You can use it in other packages within Microsoft Office. So anything you learn in this video, you can transfer across to other packages like, for example, PowerPoint, Publisher, etc. Text wrapping is to do with how the text interacts around an image or object once it's been inserted into a document. This image has been inserted into this Word document and you can see currently the text is just above and just to the bottom right of it and there is a white space in between. The reason for this layout is to do with the type of text wrapping that is currently applied to this image. There are two ways to find out what text wrapping has been applied. First one is to click on this little icon here to bring up this text wrapping area. The second is to go up onto the format tab up here, the graphics format in Word. And here you can see the wrap text option is also here. Now by default, if we just click on this option here, when you insert in an image or an object, a lot of the time the default it tends to um, apply to the image or object is in line with text. I'm now just going to demonstrate changing the text wrapping and of course how that affects the image behind. As you can see there is this white space. I'm now going to click on the first option which is square and you can see it has now changed how the text is wrapped around the image. You'll see that the text itself has aligned square to the square outline of that image. Now from here, square and tight, sometimes if your image is very square, so if it pretty much fills this outline here, you won't be able to tell much of a difference between the two. However, you'll notice in the image behind, there is quite a bit of white space here. If I now demonstrate by clicking on tight, you'll see now that the text has been wrapped to within this white space as well. So if I click back to square, you can see it's aligned to the outside, outside of these handles as they're called. There are quite a few types of text wrapping you can use and the one that you use will depend on how you want your image to appear on the document itself. Down at the bottom there are two other options which are very useful. Move with text is normally set by default so this will essentially the image itself will move on the Word document depending on when you add in or remove text. However if you don't want the image to move when you're typing adding in information then you can click on the fixed position on page and this will allow the image to stay there as you add or remove text. So either of these options are useful to have. It's all down to how you want it to appear. Now this bottom option, the fixed position on page, it doesn't mean you can't move the image if you select it. You can of course click and drag the image if you select this option. It is more that it'll stop the text from moving the image. So if you add in text above the image, it'll stop it from being moved down on your page. So this is just looking at the text wrapping options that you can use applying to Word in this example, applying to the image that you have inserted into your Word document. But of course you can use it in other Microsoft Office packages as well. 